Hey, what is going on, everybody? Dude, if you're looking at the title, it might seem like another random video, like why are you comparing these two phones together? But I always wanted to see how these two phones compare, and I'm going to do a lot of comparisons like this in the future, and they're only going to get better and better. So let's take a look at how the iPhone 6 compares to the Galaxy Note 3 in 2018. So they actually came out a year after one another, so the Note 3 is actually older than the iPhone 6. And the biggest noticeable difference, as you can see, is that the iPhone 6 is much smaller than the Galaxy Note 3 but size is really preference here and I've always kind of you know stressed that but for me personally I always like the bigger sized phones than the smaller ones that's why I always have like a 7 plus over the regular 7 and I've always leaned towards the bigger phones over the smaller phones but the screens are also different on both of them too between me and you the Note 3 has a much better screen than the iPhone 6 since it is OLED, you know, the iPhone 6 has an IPS panel, and the Galaxy Note 3 is 1080p, where the iPhone 6 is 720p. I don't think the iPhone 6's screen is that bad, but the Note 3 with the mixture of OLED and 1080p, that's kind of a sweet spot for me. And now performance-wise, the Note 3 is actually overall more powerful than the iPhone 6, and it's definitely noticeable. The iPhone 6 wasn't really that fast. But the Note 3 is definitely still fast in my opinion. Playing games or whatever you'll have, you know, it'll be a better experience on the Galaxy Note 3, which has 3GB of RAM over the iPhone 6, which only has 1GB of RAM. But the Note 3 isn't perfect though. I would say the biggest problem with the Galaxy Note 3 would definitely be the software. Really, it only got a few versions of Android. It stopped at Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is horrible. And I can't believe Samsung did that. And on top of that, they still threw on their TouchWiz UI, which is horrible. I really don't like that a lot. And the cool thing is, is that even though the iPhone 6 came out in 2014, it's still getting updates right now. The iPhone 6 will win over Samsung here, but the Note 3 is still rootable and you can throw a custom ROM on it if you want to. But that is really preference, you know, a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing that. But in my experience, if I were stuck with the phone like the Note 3 right now, I would definitely root it and throw a custom ROM on it. The cameras are also pretty interesting. The Note 3 has a 13 megapixel camera where the iPhone 6 has an 8 megapixel camera. And in terms of features, the Galaxy Note 3 definitely wins here since it can shoot video at Quad HD. Both the iPhone 6 and the Note 3 can shoot video at 1080p at 60 frames per second. But if it was up to me, I think the Galaxy Note 3 can shoot better photos and better videos overall than the iPhone 6. And battery life also wins on the Galaxy Note 3 here. It has a 3200 mAh removable battery. The iPhone 6 has a 1810 non-removable battery. The choice is yours though. If it's up to me, I would rather have better battery life and a removable battery on the Note 3 than just a battery you can't even take out on the iPhone 6. Now, Samsung has since then removed the removable battery, but it's kind of preference here. So to basically sum up, I mean, between the two and taking away my iCloud account and my iPhone as a daily driver and all that stuff and iMessage, if I was starting fresh, I would rather have the Galaxy Note 3 than an iPhone 6. It just seems like a better phone to me. Really, the main downside are software updates and the lack of a fingerprint sensor, but you do get the S Pen, a more powerful device, and a removable battery and a removable storage as well. So even though I only have the iPhone as a daily driver right now, I can't lie with saying the Note 3 would definitely be a better choice right now in 2018 than an iPhone 6. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them down in the comment section below. I read every single comment, so if you leave something, I'm going to read it. Hit that like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. We're still doing the iPhone 6s and iPhone SE giveaway. And in order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below, but I'll also leave a link to a video explaining more about the giveaway in the description, so it's super easy to enter. Check out the other links down there too, my second channel, my SoundCloud, all that stuff is down there. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out, but more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.